Faded plastic is a common problem with any vehicle, but on a Jeep, it just looks like crap. Now my cow cover is supposed to look like that, but it looks like that. We're gonna do something about that today. Y'all stick around. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. My name's Clint. I'm sure most of y'all have had a vehicle that you had some faded plastic trim on it and you didn't know what to do about it. There's a lot of stuff on the market, but sometimes I'm pretty skeptical about a lot of that stuff. Now I can say I've used this Armor All stuff and it worked pretty well on my JK. But this time I'm gonna use Silk Shine Protectant from Chemical Guys. I bought a gallon of it to use on my tires because 37s use up a lot of tire shine. Initially, I thought it was just tire dressing, but after reading the label and going on the Chemical Guys website, they claim it will restore and protect your vinyl, plastic, and rubber. So we're going to put it to the test today and see how it does, because that cowl is pretty faded. It should be a pretty easy job. Let's get started. All right, the first thing I want to point out before we get started into taking these wiper blades off is on your OE windshield, there is an indexing mark right here. And right here on your windshield for your wiper blades that's there because these wiper arms are completely different than the previous generation there's no indexing mark on the shaft for from the wiper motor to the wiper arm it's just bolted on there so you have these marks right here and right here to line your wiper blades up if you have to take your wiper arms off that mark right there is your indexing mark for your wiper blades there's one for the passenger side and the driver's side as well. So pay attention to that before you take your wiper arms off. First thing you gotta do to remove your wiper arm is pop this cap. It comes off easily. You can take it off with your thumbnail. And then grab you a 15 millimeter ratchet or an impact and take that nut off there. Once you have that nut off, just give your wiper arm a little wiggle and it'll come right off. The sad part about this is there are a lot of YouTubers out there that'll make you think everything's that easy. I've always prided myself with my channel to show you the shit that can go wrong because more than likely that's why you're here anyway. I struggled with that wiper on for about 10 minutes before I decided to back up and look into things. I wasn't sure if I'd missed something or not because that thing was not coming off. So what did I do? I went to YouTube. I only found a couple of videos and they just said, give it a little wiggle. It'll come right off. Fuck you. First thing I tried was a two jaw clamp. Wouldn't work. Can't get up underneath it. Then I tried a ball joint puller like this one. This one almost worked, but it was just, it was too wide to get in there. Then I tried this tie rod end puller. Looks like this fit right up under there. This worked perfectly. And I'm gonna show you how I did it on the driver's side. take his tie rod end puller, slide it up underneath the wiper arm, and then tighten the bolt down on top of the shaft. And it really doesn't take a whole lot to get that dude loose. Just like that, and it's loose. Comes right off. Now you should be able to just pop this cowl using some uh, body trim tools. You know, if I can get under it. Just be careful when you're messing with this cowl. There's a screen on the back side of it that keeps debris out of your cowl area. And you don't want to get that messed up. So your cowl was only held on with these clips right here. Just be careful when you're popping them loose so you don't break your cow. If you order a gallon of this stuff from Amazon, it'll come with a spray bottle. So that's what I'm using. 
and I'm quite sure you don't need to use that much, but that's how I do everything. Let's give that a little bit and see what it does. Looks like it's done pretty well, but there's still a little, there's still a few light spots in there. I'll spray it on the rag this time. I believe that's going to do it. Let's go ahead and clean the rest of this thing up. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's put this thing back together. All right, y'all, I'm pretty happy with those results. The real test is going to be how long is it going to stay like that. Now, do you have to go through all the trouble of removing the cow cover to do that? No, you don't have to, but I try to keep as many chemicals off my paint job as I possibly can. I mean, if you're not going to take care of it, just buy an XJ. All you XJ guys, I was just kidding. Kind of. The only real hassle for this was getting those wiper arms off. But once you take them off the first time, they should come off easily the next time you go to do it. I'll have links to the Chemical Guys Silk Shine and the tie rod end puller in the description below. Hope you guys liked the video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Till the next time, keep the shiny side up. Jeep on.